Oh, what is going on guys? Today we will be doing a another project and this project is going to involve us um, essentially uh, we'll use Java to write a Mathlibs word game. Now Mathlibs have short stories with blank spaces that a player can fill in. The result is usually funny or weird. <laughs> Now, math libs require a short story with blank spaces asking for different types of words and words from the player to fill in those uh, blanks. Roses are red, um, poem and example. So roses are blank, so we can put uh, blank, and then blank are blue, blank is blank, and so are you. For this project, we have provided the story, but it will be up to you to complete the following. Create all the variables needed for the story. And then we also need to print the story with the variables in the right place. All right. So let's create a comment that describes the program. Okay, so right here are already in place and write the description something like this okay so we'll just go ahead and uh, use use this essentially yeah we'll go ahead and use this Let's see perfect okay now my name is Yasar and today's date will be 12 slash 3 slash 2023 and what do we have let's see okay we're done with that okay take a look at the variable name story okay right here now it is set to equal to a string that will contain our story all of the variables will need to be declared and initialized before the code will compile without errors, okay? The story that we have provided is going to need a protagonist, so create a string called name1 that stores the name of the main character. Okay, so name, so string name1 equals, we'll name it to, let's say Goofy, okay? Well, We'll name him Goofy. Okay. And then we need to provide three adjectives. So create three strings adjective one, adjective two, and adjective three, and store uh, th different adjectives in them. Okay. <clears throat> so the string equals blank. Okay. And we'll just copy and paste that three times. Mm. Yeah, we'll just copy and paste that three times to essentially create uh, the, okay. And remember, just so we know, so adjectives are basically um, a word that describes or defines a noun, okay? So, so if it's a funny idea, or if it's tell me something that's good or bad, you know, it's like, uh, you're basically describing a noun, okay? So we'll do the funny, we'll do funny, we'll do cute, and we'll do ugly. How about that? Okay, we'll also need to provide one verb, okay? So verb one, string, Verb one equals, <clears throat> we'll name it running. Uh, let me make this lowercase. I haven't read the, the actual word, but it's probably gonna be pretty funny. It should be funny, I don't know. Okay, we're done with the verb. It needs six nouns. Oh gosh, six nouns. So. <clears throat> String noun one equals 
blank. So, so, so we need six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I put an extra one. A four. Okay. And oh no, I didn't. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. That works. Okay, so now we can do um, we'll comment this in character three adjectives one verb okay and then we have the six nouns okay okay so put like car we'll put a frame we'll put a bottle put a we'll put a bird a penguin we'll put uh, what else? A pen. Okay, that works. Okay, our story needs another character, which to declare a string variable called name and initialize it to another. Okay, so second character, and we will name it string and two equals. Uh, we'll say <clears throat> we'll say what's a funny name? I'll say Bob. Why not Bob? Bob Goofy and Bob. So they might be friends or they might uh, be really enemies, but we'll find out soon. Okay, so we're done with that. Our story requires one number. Declare an int called number and set it equal. Okay. So this is our one number. And my favorite number is personally, um, it's personally 21. So I'm going to set it equal to 21. Okay. Now there's one more variable. Declare a string called place one and store any place in it. It could be a city, town, or a country or planet. Okay, so we'll name this our place or one place. Um we'll do string place one and then we'll do equals. Uh we'll name it What's what's a beautiful place, but that's also funny sounding. Uh, we could write Djibouti, but let's go with let's go with Kentucky, bro. Kentucky, crazy things be happening there, so <laughs> we'll put Kentucky. Okay. We're almost done, okay. So, all right. It seems like we have all the variables we need. Save the file and see it runs. Does it run? No. Okay. Oh, we forgot this, okay. Voila. Okay, compiles without errors, okay. Now, time to read the story. Use the system.out.printline to print the story variable. So finally, we can actually read our story that we wrote. I'm actually excited for this one. Okay, we'll do story. Now let's print it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to check it and see, okay. <clears throat> so, we'll see. This morning, Goofy woke up feeling funny. It is going to be a cute day. 
Outside, a bunch of cars were protesting to keep frames in store. They began running to the rhythm of the bottle, which made all the birds very ugly. Concerned, Goofy texted Bob, who flew Goofy to Kentucky and dropped Goofy in a puddle of frozen penguin. Goofy woke up in year 21 in a world where pens rule the world. Dang. That's, I mean, some some parts were funny. Some parts made sense. Other parts were not funny <laughs> or did not make sense either. Okay. okay. Put some white space in your code so that the story variable is hidden and show you, show your friends the code. Have someone else fill in the variables you have declared with nouns, adjectives, verbs, and names that they like, and then run the code to see a new story get told. Hmm. Okay. Put some white space. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. This is going to end this project. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you did enjoy this, uh, please like this video and subscribe i do appreciate the the fast support i've been getting lately and i'll see you guys in the next one